Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey, uh, and welcome to Weekly Tips, where we'll put some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and we're going to be drawing a greyhound. So let's race on into this and draw this fast little dog. Yeah, so here I delve into drawing this greyhound. I do a side view to start off with. This is an easy view to start off with. It's what I recommend starting off for any animal you draw or anything you do draw a side view or even designing a creature. It's a very simple uh, way to start off because you, you don't have to deal with like three quarter views. You don't have to deal with angles. You just are dealing with what goes into this animal, what goes into the greyhound here. Now, this is a very challenging um, dog. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend, you know, starting off drawing greyhounds if you just are kind of um, starting on drawing dogs and, and animals, cats and dogs and, and that kind of thing. I want to start off with greyhounds. Um, however, you know, if you go through this process, it, it makes it a little bit more easier if you do the kind of side view first. It makes it a little bit easier. Um, I have drawn, you know, dogs in my time, a few dogs here and there, and even I find <laughs> greyhound challenging. It might just be... You know, it might just be my experience, but um, because of the, you know, skinny bones and um, the kind of structure that this dog has compared to a lot of other dogs, that it, it, I find it a little bit more difficult to get things right. Um, but however, like I said, if you do this whole process for it, you do the, the side view, they kind of uh, do the front view next. Just the simple views. Um, a scene down view, just a, a placid kind of sitting there view. Um, then, you know, going further into it, um, you can get better and better at, you know, drawing the Greyhound. It is an interesting dog, and I had, I think, two or three attempts at drawing it side view, and I still feel like I could work on it further and, and draw it again a few more times to try and get some of the proportions right. Because I think there are probably uh, a few proportions I might have a little bit wrong in my drawings. Um, however, you know, I've taken, um, you know, the, the main things out of it, out of it for this stage. And I've moved on to the next stage, which is the, the front view. I can always go back, you know, it, this is not set in stone, you know, your side view that you draw. Um, it's not set in stone. You can always draw it again and again. Um, but I would, you know, recommend to draw it at least a few times before continuing on um, doing kind of front view. And I'll do that for even creature design and other animals I draw. Um, one thing I can think of is like the red panda. I did a red panda drawing. Um, in colour pencil, and I was trying to get the, the red panda looking uh, really, you know, great. So, with that, you know, I did heaps of different angles, heaps of different views, and yeah, I did kind of this process where, you know, I did the kind of front view, side views, um, and really just did the bone structure even, um, and slowly, you know, broke it down, and then eventually, um, went into doing the final drawing from there uh, rather than just trying to tackle you know the final drawing um, and trying to improve it on that I had I brought in some other knowledge from doing some practice from drawing it in different angles so that you know when I got to actually drawing it I did fully understand like what was happening with the animal um, a little bit further than just looking at the image. Um, I understood like maybe you know his his um, hands were like dangling off the edge. Um, maybe there might be parts of the hands that I couldn't see, so I kind of had to um, use what I knew and use that knowledge to try and build up and make sure the drawing all works together. 
And the same with drawing a, a greyhound, you know, um, there are things like in this drawing that I'm doing, you can't quite see a little bit of his, um, his claws. So I had to kind of use what I knew to guess that, um, in that side, in that, um, simple side view that I did. Now, I kind of just attempted that once, really, um, yeah, it was just a kind of little warm-up, again, to try and get into this drawing I'm doing here. Now, this is probably what you're used to seeing, you know, if you go to races, you see these greyhounds racing. Um, this is probably what you're used to seeing, you know, racing dogs uh, like this, you know, racing and looking very fast, they are built for, you know, speed, um, so, you know, this position kind of a thing you're used to seeing a lot, um, yeah, you know, so that's what I went for after that, really showing off a little bit more of what this dog is, um, yeah, and I think I did okay with this drawing, you know, I did a few attempts again, I still feel like um, it, I could go over it and draw it a few times again, um, to, to get it better, you know, <laughs> but I feel like, you know, I understand a little bit more now about, you know, the Greyhound, that now I can go and restart kind of a thing, and if I wanted to, like, do a painting of a, of a Greyhound, um, these, you know, what I do here, like, these weekly tips that I do usually, with these drawings that I do, these are usually all the drawings I do before I kind of do a final painting. This is my process kind of before I actually do a final kind of drawing, a painting, a design, an illustration or something like that. I do all this practice stuff before and then once I've got the full plan together, um, I then you know, use what I've, I've drawn in these drawings, um, you know, these drawings ain't perfect, but I could, I could take them and take one and illustrate it better, maybe I could have a racing dog scene I want to paint, so I'll do all this process first, and then I'll, um, continue from here, from this process, and, you know, start fresh again, <laughs> but I'd use what I've drawn here, um, and create something better so yeah hopefully you know this has helped you um draw you know a greyhound you know i don't go into two specifics of like the, the structures but i will i think one day i might deal with some more like bone stuff i have kind of gone into a few bone structures and things like that before so i might go into a little bit more like drawing the um, dog legs and, and that kind of thing, the bone structure of the dog and then the cat, that kind of thing. Um, but hopefully this helps you draw greyhounds. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me, if you join me. Um, let me know if you like these dogs, um, or anything like that down in the comments, I'd appreciate it. Thanks everyone for coming in, tuning in. So keep drawing everyone, keep creating, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.